Frontline workers not only take an oath to serve and protect, but they must also have the stamina to do so. The Make It Happen Foundation has donated fitness equipment to fire and police officers to help them stay in shape during the pandemic. Officers were also provided with TV sets. We know that physical fitness is a critical requirement for our fire and police officers, but one which is often overlooked due to budgetary constraints. And we are so pleased that our foundation was able to accede to these requests, the monies for which were raised from our annual Officers Bowl Gala fundraiser held in December. We are also today donating 15 waiting chairs as well as stools and four large flat screen televisions to various stations, including this fire station. And by this weekend, we will have completed some major remedial works to the bathrooms, kitchens, and courtroom area at the Choiselle Police Station to improve the working conditions there. Acting Police Commissioner Milton Daisy says the equipment will help officers save on gym membership fees. We would have a team of dedicated and fit police and fire officers. These are the frontliners. When everything goes wrong, for example in COVID, we were the ones out there. We need to keep fit. And especially um, with COVID, um, we know that it attacks, or if it attacks persons with pre-existing conditions, that it gets very um, worse on you. So we are pleased to have um, these equipments. And as Mr. Chico have said, I think it boosts the, um, the police officers. Um, it goes towards the all towards welfare of officers, where, as I said, the monies that would be spent on be, being at a gym, at least these monies are uh, waived and they can do something else. President of the Police Welfare Association, Travis Chico, says he looks forward to making use of the equipment. Here's a good opportunity for the president to put in some gym hours, which I, I must say that one of my sole reasons for being here is because that I, I'm aware that I, I, I will utilize the equipment um, going to the various stations. Chief Fire Officer Joseph Joseph noted that the vocation was labor-intensive, with fire officers sometimes spending hours on scenes of emergencies. Joseph says that the officers also put their lives on the line in the age of COVID-19. So they spend 24 hours essentially on the job. So it means within that period, they may respond to you know, several calls. And it requires a level of, of, of fitness for them to, you know, go through that, that period and not call for backup from those who are, who are off. Um, we, we look at some of the duties they perform and, and just about anything a firefighter does, whether it be EMS, fire suppression, whether you work on the airport or otherwise, it requires, you know, that, that you know, level of, of, of effort. So physical fitness is a great part of, you know, what, the, fire, the firefighters required, you know, to possess. The Make It Happen Foundation plans to donate 10 more pieces of gym equipment to other stations in the future. The foundation has been assisting the men and women of the protective services since its establishment in 2016. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.